Welcome to my presentation on controlling. This controlling is about business control. How the management control the activities of the staff. Organizational control is a systematic way of controlling the activities in an organization to comply with strategic plans and achieve strategic goals. Uh, this is how Mr. Daft in his book management 12th edition that's how he explained um, what organizational control is about and mr rigba in 1934 thought no group of men is wise enough to control all the activities of all manifold business activities such a powerful statement in 1934 but global global businesses exist now due to decentralization uh, and other means and computer technologies. So Mr. Richberg now will be surprised as how global organizations are being controlled. This approach for controlling is structured, uniform, and organized to accomplish uh, strategic goals. Using strategic plans, it could either be for businesses or for non-profit organizations. Effort, you, effort has to be put in place to control the activities of this of the organization. Organizational structure theorists. I've chosen a couple to talk about. We have the feedback theory model, the balance scorecard, the hierarchy versus decentralized control method, open book management. There's a total quality management, benchmarking, budgeting control, financial statements. Managers need to have control of information required for performance standard, actual performance, controlling deviation from the standard, all aim at meeting strategic goals and attaining the vision of an organization. Employees are more likely to care about revenue and expensive if they have a stake in the profits. Feedback control method. This, uh, this one, you use your feedback from um, the different aspects of activity to control the outputs and the input corrections you want to make. So organization controls and measure accomplishment using quantitative financial measures. You use your finances to see how you are doing. Uh, but I personally think uh, quantitative is okay, but quality should be involved. You produce cars in, in quantity, you have the numbers, you have the sales, but what of the quality? What of the customer's uh, feedback? Then here you have established standard set targets, measure performance, compare performance to standard, and make correction as needed. Then implement the feedback control system to monitor and fine tune the production process. This is my attempt of, uh, of a chat to show you how the feedback control model works. You have your established goals, you have the standard you want to uh, obtain, then the performance, how does it compare with what you want to uh, do, and then your corrective action sends back feedback to your standard. If you need to change things, you go back to the standard and go back over to the corrective action. And when the performance compares variably, uh, favorably, you do nothing. You just go back to the established goals, do nothing. If it does not compare uh, favorably, you do some corrective action and then you go to your feedback. The balance scorecard. Uh, this is the one I like. Uh, this deals, all of them are good, but this one deals with managerial control of the markets. You get feedback from your market, your customers, your finance, and employees. A comprehensive managerial control of balancing the financial um, finances, financial measure, and operational measures, and organizational, and organizational success factors. An organizational track customer service. A financial performance, internal business processes, and learning and growth. 
this is uh, the chat I have for that. Your goal and mission is a central focus. From there, you see what the finance uh, uh, feedback is, what your internal business process feedback is, and your customers. You check the records, you check the feedback. From there, are you learning and are you growing from it? The hierarchy and the centralized method of control. Here, uh, in hierarchy, managers use uh, rules, policies, reward systems and written documentation to control and measure standard performance and correct deviation as needed. While your decentralized manager relies more on trust, uh, believe that the middle managers uh, will handle the, the control perfectly. They've all been trained, they all have shared beliefs, they have the traditions and cultural value to foster compliance with organizational goals. Mr. Daft uh, in his management book also emphasized on this. We have the open book management control model here normally used by the centralized organizational structure. Open book management controls allow employees to see the charts and also particulars of the financial situation of the organization. With open book manager, management, the individual employee, the important part uh, she plays or he or she plays in the organization is made known to uh, the individual. Open, open book management. Everybody knows what is happening in the company um, and they know the uh, financing motivating the workers. So the workers are part of the system. You know, when they... Uh, when they see the output that the company is very profitable, they know they will be having some uh, profit from it. I remember working in the airlines when you when there is no accident, when there is no aircraft damage, FODs damage to the aircraft. We have some bonuses being shared to all the employees. So everybody was uh, interested in the safety of the plane and personnel because you benefit total quality management this deals with uh, managing quality control through continuous monitoring process like your boeing 787 dream, uh, dreamliner battery problem you know, that will give a, a, a negative feedback to the company but fortunately they've improved the situation by changing the type of battery so monitoring quality monitoring the quality of product is very important. The case uh, J 1994 is a total quality management. Yeah, team. Yeah, empowerment, reengineering. The old top-down chain of command style of management is out. Today's boss is supposed to walk around, involve the troops, and encourage participation. That's how people look at this. Everybody is involved. It's part of your decentralized uh, structure organizational structure. Uh, total quality ma management, part of it benchmarking. But now you're not just monitoring your own company, you're now comparing yourself with known leaders in the industry or with your competitors. You're continually monitoring your products, your performance and services against the competitors. Business is focused on customer satisfaction and profit making. So continuous monitoring is necessary. Um, uh, uh, I have a reference there, uh, Mira Biggie, 2015. You, you can have a, you know the link at the last slide. Getting control is one of the most used managerial control setting targets for organizational expense, for organizations expense. Making sure it matches with the budget and ways to adjust when it deviates from the budget. Decision could be top down or bottom up. It involves the expense budget you stick to it, your revenue budget, what do you want to make from uh, the company this year, this quarter, your cash budget, your capital budget, even your zero based budget with no capital input. You, what are you going to do? for the debt and you stick that budget. 
Then the financial statement, this is also important, and also with the uh, federal government involved in monitoring financial statements. So gov uh, the organization use financial statement as a managerial control tool also. Your financial statement, you have your balance sheet, income statements, cash flow statements. These are, uh, they, you also have equity, you know, but I don't want to use that here. I only use the balance sheet, income statements, cash flow statements. This is used to analyze, you know, the company situation. And we also use various ratios, liquidity ratio, activity ratios, profitability ratios, leverage ratios. In conclusion, using this approach to controlling, these various approach I've already mentioned, to control in controlling organization activities will provide a competitive advantage. Yes, because you have a vision, you have goals, you have strategic plans, you have you, you, you have the workers, the markets, the, all in place, but now you have to make all of them work together for you to accept, get what you want out of it. So if you are, your control approach to control is effective, it is an, a competitive advantage for, for the company, keeping a business in the black. With all the control systems, the impact on human behavior must be taken into consideration. Yes, you want to save money, you want to make profits, but if the people in the organization are not happy also, uh, what good is that? So an organization can be very prof profitable, but the employers unhappy, stress, and overwork. Um, I